Hello and welcome to new session of Master Cam X9 2D Milling Sketch. We are in chapter 2.1.3 and in this chapter we will be dealing how to create rectangles and etc. There are two ways of getting the menus to create these options. First is go to toolbar and expand create. Then you will get in the drop down menus rectangle, rectangular shapes, polygon, ellipse etc. Or you can go to the sketch menu and expand rectangle shape then you will get all these menus here let look into each of it first we will start with rectangle so it, when you click on this menu you will get this in the ribbon bar and you can see on the left corner that we have a rectangle with three anchor points defined if you just want to select two points that defines a rectangle you can you don't need to select the anchor point as a center point you, you can just click that and define two points and you can very well get a rectangle then you can define the width or a height and click OK if you want a surface to be created after creating a rectangle you can opt for create surface and it will after you create the rectangle you can see that the surface is also formed there and if you want to anchor this rectangle to a to a center point then you have to opt for this and define the center point either by snapping or defining the coordinates and click OK next we'll see how to create rectangular shapes when you opt for this method you won't get anything on the ribbon bar but you will get a dialog box here wherein you are asked to define the height I mean the weight height if you want a fillet radius for the rectangle that you create and if you create a rectangle if you want to rotate it to some angle you can very well define that value here then we have shapes here in shapes we can using this command we can create almost five shapes here one is plain rectangle and if you uh, define uh, the width and height as 80 and 50 you will get this type of rectangle and if you opt for a capsule we'll get this capsule with this dimension and if you opt for a D shape this is the value you will this is the shape you will get when you define the width and height as 80 and 50 and when you opt for this shape you will get the diameter as 80 and you can see that the height is 50 and and if you opt for a fillet radius on the rectangle you will get very well get this shape now you can define uh, nine anchor points if you want uh, an anchor point on the center you can have to take this radio button and you just need to define the coordinates of this center point and the shape is created and if you want to create a surface along with the shape you can check this and click apply next is uh, creating a polygon when you click on this menu you will get this dialog box and you here you need to define the number of sides of the polygon here I have mentioned 6 and radius as 50 when you define radius as 50 and you say across flat here you take the radio button flat you will get a polygon with whose dimension across flat will be 100 because we have already defined radius as 50 for the inscribed circle and when you go for up for corner you will get this value the value that you get I mean the radius that you define is uh, the center of the circle and the distance from center to the end point of this polygon and based on your design requirement you can opt for any of it and click OK next we will see how to create an ellipse here we need to define the minor radius and the major uh, radius here and based on that 
I mean major radius and the minor radius and based on your uh, requirement you will get this shape and if you are happy with it, click OK next we'll see how to create letters so when you opt for letters you will get this dialog box you need to enter what you have to uh, define here here I have take an example of AEL technology I will be entering the letters here AEL technology and if you want to uh, create if you want to opt for any other font you can click on this and the full font uh, menu will be window will be open and you can opt for any of the font that you like and we have five alignment method here first is horizontal you enter the letters here and you op click the radio button horizontal and define the point and a horizontal letters will be created if you opt for vertical you can get this type of uh, letter orientation and if you define top of arc and enter the radius arc radius and you opt a center point you will get this type of letters oriented and if you want orient the letters on bottom of the arc you have to click on the bottom you have to click uh, tick the radio button and click on the bottom of the arc and you will get this type of orientation and finally if you want to define this orient this letters on uh, over a chain or a profile you can you have to up tick this top of chain and define the uh, the section and define the starting point and you will get these letters oriented on the chain I'll explain you all these things in MasterCam software